Hi, this is Ian Lamont from In 30 Minutes Guides. And recently I got a question from one of the viewers of one of my videos about Google Forms asking, can you have a redirect from the response page on the Google Form to send people to a website or a special landing page or something like that? And the answer is no, you can't, but there is kind of a workaround and I'll show you what it is right now. So this is Google Forms, a very simple fake event registration and uh, asking a bunch of questions. If you want to customize the finish page once you're done, once the user is done completing the survey, you go to settings and then presentation right here. Highlight that for you. There's a downward pointing arrow, click that. And then you'll see a section that says after submission. So confirmation, confirmation mes message. And you can make this long or short if you want. You can see what I've done. There's no space to put a redirect, but what I have done for this custom message is we have received a registration for more information about the event, please visit. And then I put in the URL of the website for my company. Um, if you click edit, you can change that. You can make it longer. You can put an emoji or something like that. And this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. So this is the exact same event registration confirmation page for that particular item and you can see this is a live link. So if I click on that, that will take me to the website. It says redirecting and then it comes to the website. So while that's not an automatic redirect, I think it's pretty good for most people. If you want to give them more information, you can encourage them to click on that particular link to check it out. I think Google probably disables the automatic redirect function because all kinds of bad things can happen that way. Uh, if this video helped you, please take a moment to like it and follow me. I'm the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides and the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, which is a guide that can help explain the basics of using tools like Google Forms. Also, if this video helped you, please like it and follow me. I have new Google videos all the time about different types of Google apps, and hopefully they may help you as you learn more about this really powerful tool. This is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.